How did your friend destroy the friendship? When I realized how shitty she was to me, always bringing me down and making everything about herself, I was already at a very low point in my life contemplating suicide and disappearing. When I confided in her she brushed it off and didn't talk to me. I didn't need an answer from her or for her to cure my depression I just needed a friend and she wasn't there for me like I was for her and that hurt the most. That day was the beginning of the end for us it just took two more years for me to grow the courage to walk away from that relationship. Constantly trying to bang any of my girlfriends I brought around him. He always blamed the booze. I blamed his lack of integrity. Huge scars were left on our friendship and we rarely see each other these days. Edit I've been really appreciating hearing all of your similar stories. Even if they are slowly draining my faith reservoir in future relationships. Good friend and I work at the same place. I buy the business. Now friend works for me. Friend falls hard for co-worker. She rebuffs him. He starts stalking her and threatens to commit suicide. Hot mess. Have to let him go. Well I guess she probably didn't really consider me her friend. But I thought of her as mine. Overheard her talking to another friend about how much she couldn't stand me when I was in the booth listening to people's mix to make sure they were working before opening night of the musical. That was pretty crushing. I haven't confronted her about it, but I just try to avoid her now. She turned all our female friends against me at university because she liked our mutual male friend and she thought he liked me instead of her. He wasn't into her. But it wasn't because he liked me, it was because he was gay. So I lost most of my friends at university in the last year because my moron of a BFF couldn't figure out our other good friend was gay. He literally would say how, didn't like the idea of sex with women, and told us how he often sleeps in the same bed with other men. Cheated on his amazing girlfriend with the girl he knew I had a crush on. Rubbed it in my face after the fact too. That friendship lasted way too long. Decided he was too good for the rest of us. And only gave us the time of day when he needed something. Unfortunately. Because dude is exceptionally charismatic. Half of the group sided with him when the other half basically told him to screw off. So. He actually destroyed multiple friendships and still uses the half that stuck with him. Really sad to see. Actually. She punched me in the boob. We were inseparable BFF soulmates and I loved her. I even joined choir so we could hang out an extra period. Well, she started treating me like garbage in front of her rude choir friends and threatened one day as a joke in front of them that she'd punch me in the boob. I told her if she did it, I'd walk away and never speak to her again because I didn't like how she was treating me. That's the only time I have ever followed through on a threat so serious. Sure enough, she did it, and we didn't talk for 3 years. Even then, it was just a nasty message from her about how stupid I was. I'm still a little sad about it, 10 years later, but it was a good choice on my part. He was going through a bad time with the woman he was living with, and they split up. I offered to take him on a snow sports holiday. He accepted but he was struggling for money, so I paid for him to have a place to stay. Lift passes, food etc. Basically everything was paid for and all he had to do was get there. I get a call a few weeks before we are going, and he says he can't make it. Too much work, because his workers had let him down he ran a building and home improvement business etc blah etc. I say okay, I go away on holiday and whilst I'm away he puts pictures of himself snowboarding in Bulgaria. With his workers the ones who apparently had let him down saying snowboarding with my mates. Another lovely day up the mountain etc. He'd rather go with his workers than the person who met him at 12 years old. Who protected him at school and beyond. Who lent him money. Who was his best man at his wedding. Who picked up his stuff when they divorced. Who knew him for over 3 decades. Etc 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 etc. That was the moment I stopped caring for him and refused to speak to him since. She was having a bad day and decided to tell me what she really thought of me because duck it, I guess. Okay then. Good to know. I won't waste any more of either of our lives then. I was 18 
and I got drunk at her house, because I thought it was a safe place to do so. She was 20 and her BF was 21, and he bought the booze with our money. Her dad was cool with it, and he said, as long as you are being safe, and not driving home, kids will be kids. Just be safe so me and her and her BF. Two other female friends, and her dad drank together. I was the youngest and the drunkest. I ended up vomiting all over their bathroom, and passing out on their futon. At about 3am her BF snuck out of her room, and raped me in the living room. Literally right outside her bedroom. I was too drunk passed out to fight back. And I barely remember. But I remembered enough to wake up in the morning. Crawl into her room. And timidly accuse him in front of her. She believed him. Friendship ruined. About two years later. He admitted to it. And they split up. And she still. Hasn't spoken to me. Became supremely unhappy with himself. Because he traveled around the world met some high society people, and decided he wanted to join their ranks. And in his quest to do so, he became an incredibly nasty person to be around. Said things that I hope people wouldn't even think. So eventually he started thinking he would try to find ways in which he was better than me, and try to exploit them. For example, at the time he had more money, and I was just out of college working a low paying job, so he'd constantly berate me for accepting such a job. Saying things like I wouldn't even get out of bed for less than 100k a year. And then he'd talk about starting his business. And how he wanted to find in debt college students to work for him. So he could financially duck them over and purposely treat them like shit. So they couldn't afford to quit. He was given a few bucks by his parents. And it went to his head. Eventually he got this class thing in his head where he'd treat people with less money like him like shit. And would justify it by saying they were poor. And so it didn't matter. I brought him to a friend's house. She was having a BBQ. And he tried to hit on some girls. And once they shot down his advancements. He would act belligerent to all of them. Until I had to take him home. My friend took me aside. And said very seriously. Never bring him over again. I felt horrible. He spiraled into this whole thing of treating everybody like shit. And justifying it by saying they were poor. Or in debt. So it was okay and only wealthy people deserve respect. And of course since I was not wealthy, I was in that camp too. It started to very rapidly get into psychopath territory. I tried to steer the friendship into the right direction, when he turned the attention on me, and basically berated me for my shitty job, but didn't have the guts to do it directly. Just in a roundabout way. Perhaps thinking I wouldn't be smart enough to notice. I literally got up. Walked to my car, and left and as I was turning on the ignition, I decided the friendship was over. That was a few years ago, and I feel much freer now, though I regret sticking by him, and trying to help for so long. Not really my friend, but my wife's best friend for 10 plus years. I met this guy at work, and we had been getting along pretty well for about a year, so I decided to invite him and his family over for dinner. As soon as he gets there my wife recognizes him, and greets him by name. Turns out he's an ex-boyfriend of my wife's bestie from more than 5 years ago. Wow. Small world. Right. So we have a nice little dinner. Drink some beers. Our kids play, and then they go home. The next day my wife's friend comes to visit, and I casually mention, that he had come over I honestly forgot they had ever dated. But this girl just totally loses her shit and starts crying and screaming at my wife. How could you do this? I thought we were friends. I can't be around you anymore. You betrayed me. So she leaves and gets on Facebook talking all kinds of shit about my wife being a slut. And how our marriage is doomed to fail. Because she is so selfish. They haven't talked since and this was about a month ago. My wife is still upset about it. And will cry if she has too much to drink. I feel really bad for bringing it up in front of her, but how the heck was I supposed to know she would react like that? The ducker went and died on me. Edit I've seen one or two people asking about what happened so let me tell the story. He was a year older than me and was finishing up his first year of college. It was finals week and he was walking around campus and noticed a man harassing a group of women. He stepped in and ended up getting stabbed multiple times. He died in the hospital that night. His death really hit the county and university hard. 
they ended up honoring him with an official day of remembrance at the university, to be observed yearly on May 11th. My husband had a friend who was chronically late. We were all planning a dinner and a movie, and said we were leaving at 7. No matter what. 7. 15 came around trying to give him a chance, and we left he showed up at 8, and we were gone. In the theater. Not answering phone. We get out of, and we all have dozens of missed calls. We try calling him, and he won't answer. Oh well. Next early morning. My husband's phone is blowing up with texts and calls and voice emails from this guy. Please don't read that email. Just delete it. I'm sorry. Call me. I need to talk to you. What not. Knowing this can't be good. He decided not to entertain the idea of giving this guy another chance and logs into his email. He had written the short message about how shitty of a person he is. Multiply mind you. This guy is pretty much on the bottom of the totem of friends. He's pretty much an acquaintance. Just a brother of another friend who invited him once, and he never left he's not sure why out of everyone he chose him to rip apart. The final straw. My husband's dad died when he was two. He wrote. You're a bastard. At least my dad is still alive. You'll never know what it's like to have a dad in your life. I'm reading over his shoulder and I'm about to go hunt this guy guy down. I'm irate. He goes. Huh. He slowly closes his laptop. He calmly said. Well. I won't be seeing him anymore. He tired calling him a bunch of more times. But I'm sure he knew he already read it. He screwed up and stopped. Never saw him again. She just. Stopped. Stopped replying to texts. Stopped returning calls. I was worried for a while. Thinking something bad happened to her. Then I noticed she had blocked me on Facebook. We had been close friends for almost 10 years. There were no signs. No argument. No conflict. Everything was just as it had been 4 years. Then one day she was suddenly gone from my life. It's been 3 years now, and I still have no clue why. I respect her choice. But I really wish I could have some explanation. Some kind of closure. Edit thank you for the many insightful comments. Kind internet strangers. It took a while to read them. But it made me realize how much this has actually affected me. And how much I've been trying to pretend that it hasn't. I still miss her. I also realized that, while I do respect her choice to no longer be my friend, I do not respect the way she chose to end it. It was selfish and cowardly and cruel. It cost her absolutely nothing. While it left me with months of pondering, replaying, memories in my mind, coming up with a thousand theories about what went wrong, and why. I didn't deserve that. After so many years, I feel that she owed me an explanation. Some minimum of effort. Even if the explanation was sorry. But I don't have the energy to explain. That said. Something that really made me think. Was that many of you did get closure eventually. But were disappointed how ridiculous. Insignificant or petty the reason was. And knowing actually made you feel worse. That really helped me. Because I had never thought about it like that. Perhaps it's best. That I don't know. In the 1970s I had a friend who lived down the block from me. He would come over to my place and every now and then would want to make a prank phone call I was a latchkey kid and my mother was hardly home. This irritated me. I didn't care to make crank calls. I would ask myself why doesn't he do this with the phone at his house. Why come over to do it with my phone. Anyways. One day me and this friend are walking down the street. And were going past an empty storefront when he stopped me and asked if I saw anything on the ground. I looked down and just saw a pile of trash on the ground at the entrance of this store. Nothing more. He looked around as if to make sure nobody saw him. Then reached down and pulled out of the trash what looked like a newspaper clipping. On closer look, it was an advertisement for a hooker. It had a black and white pic of a topless woman along with a phone number. We went back to my place where my friend wanted to make a crank call to that number. He called it. And as soon as somebody picked up, he started making lewd suggestions and cracking what he thought were funny jokes. He waved me over to listen in on the receiver with him. Which I did. There were two women on the other end of the line and they were laughing and giggling at this little kid making a prank call on them. I don't recall how my friend ended his call. But I do remember that after he finished. He slipped that little advertisement clipping under my phone with instructions to leave it there, so that he could come back, 
to make more prank calls to that same number. Next day he came back and brought with him another kid from the neighborhood to take part in his prank call. He lifted the phone and the clipping was gone. I never touched the clipping. I don't know what happened to it. My best educated guess is that my mother found the clipping and threw it away without saying a word to me about it. My friend threw a royal conniption fit. I've never seen him so angry in all the time I've known him. It looked almost as if he was going to strike me or something. He was in such a rage. He kicked a beach ball at me which narrowly missed me. He's never acted like this to me before. Wasn't long after that we started to drift apart and didn't hang out with each other or play together. I guess that incident of him getting angry over the missing clipping was the first big real rift in our friendship. Today, that same kid is an internationally renowned classical pianist. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.